can benzene react with hydroxide ions, like from sodium hydroxide, lithium hydroxide, etc.? The answer is no. This OH minus, if it was going to do anything, would be ripping an H away from benzene. After all, it is the definition of a strong base. But benzene has a pKa of 43. Put another way, the Ka, or acid dissociation constant, is 10 to the power of negative 43. The equilibrium between benzene and benzene without one of its H plus ions favors actual whole benzene by like a factor of a trillion times a trillion times a trillion. It's insane. OH is simply not powerful enough to remove the H away or an H away from benzene. What your teacher might be asking you about is can chlorobenzene react with hydroxide ions? And the answer is yes, at a high enough temperature. Now, the way that that happens is, let me just draw a chlorobenzene here. We got a chlorine and we also have an H here. Now, the OH minus ion goes and steals away that H, but that H is more likely to come off of the ring than it was in pure benzene because the electrons that hold hydrogen to the carbon ring can flow into this double bond and chlorine can become chloride as a leaving group. It's like an elimination reaction. That produces for you something called a benzene. Yes, it is a benzene with a triple bond instead of one of the double bonds. Now, at that point, you've also made an H2O molecule. You've reacted that OH minus with that H, and you had a chloride ion pop off as well. Now, at that point, another OH minus particle, of which you have a whole bunch because it's one of your reactants, can attack one of those carbons and push electrons from one of the pi bonds onto one of the carbons. That produces for you a covalent bond between that carbon and the OH group. You still have that double bond, you still have that double bond, this is a double bond, and the lone pair which did make the pi bond that made this triple bond are now solely on that. It's a carban ion, minus charged carbon. Now, that H2O that had been formed is ready to give the H back. The carban ion will attack it. You'll reform one of these OHs. After all, you're only replacing one chlorine with one OH. One of these was a catalyst. And you end up with your intact benzene ring, with your alternating double bonds like you always had. But now your chlorine has been replaced with OH. Wow, absolutely amazing. It's quite a mechanism that you didn't expect benzene to come out. I'm actually gonna spell that for you to hammer home how it forms. See, it's benzene, but with a triple bond inside. Huh? I like it, and I bet you do too. The answer to the question that brought you here is no, benzene cannot react with OH-, but chlorobenzene can at a high enough temperature. Cl and presumably in my world, Br and I are a good enough leaving group to make that H susceptible to attack by something similar to elimination. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.